Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we will see how to flash build root operating system onto eMMC storage of Luxfox Pico Ultra W RP1106 Linux micro development board. Okay. And we are going to flash the build root OS onto the eMMC storage without any SD card. And we will cover the full setup along with SSH access. Okay. So here you can see we have the Luxfox Pico Ultra W, the micro Linux development board with RP1106 chip. Okay. I have connected the Wi Fi antenna or you can say Wi Fi and Bluetooth antenna. Now we want to flash the build root operating system inside the Luxfox Pico Ultra W. Okay, so let's see how you can do that. So first thing first, we have to install the necessary driver. So you can follow this video. Otherwise, you can also follow this documentation. Okay, so again, first thing first, driver installation. So you can download the driver assistant from here. Otherwise, you can visit our website and you can download the driver assistant from here. I have already downloaded it. Okay, so it's in the software folder. Here is the driver assistant and I am going to install the necessary drivers. So we will hit the install driver button. And here you can see installation of driver is okay. Now I can close it. Okay, we will again go to the documentation and after driver installation, you have to download the necessary image for the build root operating system specifically designed for your Luxfox Pico Ultra W board. So you can click on this Google Cloud link or Google Drive link and uh, you can navigate to the build root folder. And uh, here you can see Luxfox Pico Ultra W eMMC image for the build root operating system. So I have already downloaded this one. Okay. And here it is in the OS folder OS build root and Luxfox Pico Ultra W for eMMC storage build root operating system and here is the file. So we have to flash this file okay into the eMMC storage of Luxfox Pico Ultra W. So the downloading process of the image is done. After that we have to flash the image into the eMMC storage. So for that, you have to use SOC toolkit software. Either you can download the SOC toolkit software from here. Otherwise you can visit our website and here also you can download the SOC toolkit software. And I have already downloaded that software. So we'll go to the software folder first, SOC toolkit. And here is the SOC toolkit software. Okay. And then here we have to select the supported chip so if you see here then the chip inside the Luxfox Pico Ultra W is RV1106 okay so you have to select RV1106 in the SOC toolkit so here I'm going to select RV1106 I'll press OK here and here you will see in the USB section we don't have anything so I have to connect with uh, this Luxfox Pico Ultra W board so what I will do is I will press the okay first of all we'll connect the USB cable and then we'll press the boot button here okay so this is the boot button so I'm going to press this boot button and then I'm going to plug the second end of the USB cable to my laptop okay I have plugged it and I hope you hear the beep sound and that's it okay all done now I can again open the SOC toolkit and here you can see Muscrome 12 is available here. So it means that SOC toolkit software has successfully detected your Luxfox Pico Ultra W board. Now you have to search path for your build root operating system. Okay, so you have to click on the search path. Okay, and here it is embedded devices, Luxfox operating system, build root operating system and operating system for Luxfox Pico Ultra W eMMC storage and I have to select this folder. I have to press yes and that's it. Okay, so we have total eight file. Now, first of all, what we will do is we will erase the entire eMMC storage. So we will select this download bin file. We'll go to the advanced feature here and we'll press on the download bin. So it will download this download bin file, okay and uh, that's it after that we will erase the entire emmc storage so erase is okay now we will again click on this download section we will select all the files okay you can also verify the file with the documentation 
so here you can see we have total eight file okay in the documentation as well and in the reality as well we have total eight files first one is download bin second one is environment id block u boot boot oem root fs and the user data total eight file so after you erase the emmc storage you have to uh, click on the download button to download all the file to the emmc storage or you can say to flash build root operating system to the emmc storage of luckfox pico ultra w board so i'm going to hit the download button and here you can see it is getting flashed okay so we have to wait until everything is done okay here you can see download done and uh, in the board you can see user led is blinking okay you can see user led the red led is blinking so it means the os is getting booted okay and once the operating system or you can say build root operating system successfully booted inside the luckfox pico ultra w board you will hear the beep sound in your system and after that you can navigate to view network connection okay and uh, in the network connection you will have one network which is remote ndis based internet sharing device okay here you can see remote ndis based internet sharing device now this is our luckfox pico ultra w board okay now once you flash the build root operating system inside the luckfox pico ultra w it will have some specific ip assigned already and the ip address uh, for that is 172.32.0.93 if you try to ping this ip from the command prompt okay and if you are getting successful ping then you are already connected to the luckfox pico ultra w board via the network and if you are not getting any successful ping then you have to modify this remote ndis based internet sharing device so you have to right click here and you have to go to the properties you have to go to the internet protocol version 4 and here you have to use the custom ip address which should be in the range of this ip address okay so you have to type 172.32.0 and then after you can specify any digit here make sure it is not 93 okay so i'm going to provide 23 here and then i'm going to press the tab okay that's it i can press okay and i'll press yes here and then again i'll press okay now we will try to ping our luckfox pico ultra w again and here you can see we are getting successful ping okay so this is what you have to do when you are trying to ping your luckfox pico ultra w with the build root operating system and you are not able to ping okay so you have to open the view network connection you have to modify your remote ndis based internet sharing device properties okay and which property you have to modify internet protocol version and here you have to specify the ip address in this range 172.32.0 and you can use any digit in the last section okay any three digit or any two digit below 254 okay so i hope that is clear now we can use ssh to log into our terminal of the luckfox pico ultra w so i can use this command okay ssh root and the ip address of our luckfox pico ultra w board and I'll, I'll type yes here and the password is luckfox and here you can see we are logging to the luckfox pico ultra w in the build root operating system okay so let me clear let me zoom it and let me check the cpu so ls cpu okay command not found let me check free memory free hyphen h okay so total free memory is 74.6 mb okay that is fine and uh, let's check the storage so df hyphen h okay so total size of our uh, emmc storage is 8 gb and this is divided into this much of part and uh, this much is available okay and this much is used so this is the status after the build root operating system flash so I hope this thing is clear that how you can flash the build root operating system inside Luckfox Pico Ultra W. Uh, we will see build root operating system more in the future videos when we will integrate the camera with Luckfox Pico Ultra W and Luckfox Pico Pro Max board as well as Luckfox Pico Mini board. 
So this video is mainly focused on how to flash build root operating system onto the eMMC storage of Luxbox Pico Ultra W. And I hope that is clear. Now let me power off the device. So power off. Okay. And we have power off our Luxbox Pico Ultra W. So if you have any question or any doubt inside the flashing of build root operating system onto eMMC storage of Luxbox Pico Ultra W, you can ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. Also, you can comment on this video. Also, you can connect with me on LinkedIn and you can send me a message on LinkedIn. So let's meet in the future videos. Till then, take care. Goodbye and thank you.